What's going on YouTube? It's James with Shyhammer Fantasy and I got a I got another unboxing going on today. I got a got a little mess here in my desk actually. But what I'm doing here is I actually got a model from one of my Mexico teammates, Team Mexico teammates, Jorge. Jorge uh, 3D printed me. Look at this, I had to come with an x-ray. But um, he 3D printed me a um, a miniature that I was looking at from Avatars of War. And uh, I was just going to open it up and show you what I got here. Um, guys, what is going on? First of all, since this package came from Mexico itself, they the reason that's the reason why I got x-rayed. Um, they were checking to see if this was like drugs or some shit. I don't know. <laughs> um, so guys, we're getting ready to go to ETC while I open this up. And, uh, you know, we're... Number one, I'm gonna I'm gonna do a small rant here. Fucking prices for ETC this year are ridiculous. They're fucking ridiculous for fucking food in the hotel. Bullshit, bullshit. Um, what is it? It's 35 euros per non-player just to attend per day. Like so, like Amanda loves to go with me. She actually enjoys watching the games. Doesn't have any real reason to be there, but. Besides playing, you know, watching me play and hanging out. And that's 35 euros a day. A day. And they try to say it's for the food, man. Man, go to McDonald's. Oh, that was a bit. So, a little spiky bit here. I'm going to hold on to that because I don't know where it goes to just yet. So, unfortunately, my unboxing here, I have a lot of little packages going on. But more or less, let's see how the um, it came out. This is the Avatar of War goblin warlord and it came out wonderful it came out really high quality holy shit for a 3d print i wasn't expecting it to be this crisp now there's a few things bits and bobs i see on him that i need to like shave and whatever but that's just normal modeling stuff this i gotta say is impressive i love it Thank you, George. Jorge, for those of you who don't know Spanish. I don't know Spanish really that well, but it's from Jorge. All right. <clears throat> but it's, uh, yeah, Avatar's a, a War Goblin Chariot. This is a little goblin rider. He's going to be holding a, I believe it's a flag. Where's my camera? There we go. Focus on him, not me. Stop focusing on me, man. Good lighting there. All right. Let's see. Um, let's see. Besides ETC being expensive, uh, got a couple games in. I went to the Dice Dojo, and oddly enough, this is the not the first time I've heard it recently, but it's <laughs> several times I've heard it. People were talking about how people I played against have been talking about how they miss edition 1.1 of the rules. One of my friends says. I don't understand why they keep changing the rules on certain things when there's absolutely nothing wrong with the rules. His response from the T9A team was, well, because people take it. When people take it doesn't mean that there's anything wrong with the rules. <laughs> it just means that that's the point cost of, uh, or that's like something people enjoy playing. I kind of understand where he's coming from. Um, a lot of the stuff that I would take uh, in previous years, people would use it because they would see it in a video of mine. They see it, they want to play it, and all of a sudden it gets nerfed or such. So this is an Orc Warlord. Look at this guy. Whoa. Look at this guy. He is fucking spiky. Spiky motherfucker. And again, I just gotta say, this is incredible 3D modeling, Jorge. You know? There we go. We'll just leave him right there. There's a shy ambulance in the background if you guys can't hear it. This is one of the uh, wolves on the chariot. Still picking up my face here. Uh, I can't get him. Sorry. I'm trying to get it to focus on him, not me. Alright. This is just chariot bits. This is the flag that goes with the other guy. Which, I love flags because it gives me something to paint on there. Don't know whose arm this was, but I'm going to put that to the side. 
I know it's been a while since he heard a Cheyenne ambulance. That's not actually a Cheyenne ambulance. That's a that's a full on fire truck. Could be coming here. It did not come here. It did, actually did not stop here. But um, one of the fun things about this is um, whenever I have lists that I'm making or whenever I decide to um, go to a tournament and try something different, it inspires me to paint and model, right? Here's another guy. His arm seems to be broken or his hand should be broken, but I think it's here. I have little bits, but there's another goblin riding the chariot. I have a couple bits here. I am afraid I'm going to lose these bits. I need like a little box or something. Also, there's dr they're drilling. Um, and one of my neighbors is drilling into the freaking building, and it has been going Bang! the whole goddamn time. Um, I do have a couple battle reports for you. I got the U.S. Masters coming. I also have ooh, look at this guy's like a little assassin. This is a, a shady git. A, uh, what is it called? Yeah, shady git. That's fun. I honestly, it's been so long since I got these from Jorge that I forgot what I ordered. <laughs> Just happens. But again, I got all these little tiny bits in here. I'm afraid of losing them. All right, so this is the shady git. I don't know if this one's exactly from Avatars of War. This could have been from a different company entirely. But just parts of his cape that fell off, his other dagger hand, and uh, the dagger's missing. That's an easy fix for me, though. I think it was like a scimitar because it looks like I have a curved piece here somewhere. Um, or is it this thing? This is his foot, so he is standing on somebody else's spear, which is very odd. And the spear, I'm assuming, is this bit. Oh, he actually extends out from the base, because this bit stays here and his foot goes there. So that is very odd indeed, or I could basically put it like where he's jumping off of something. I think that's what more or less it is. That's going to be fun. That's going to be fun to do. I have to kind of look at the miniatures, the uh, pictures to see what they were. But either way, you can always customize it to something different. Right? Uh, yeah, here's another one. Another shady get. This one has a little bit of um, crusting going on here. But you can see he is also in a dynamic pose on his foot. Focus on the hand. Wrong hand. All right. Got some new stuff to paint. I also have some stuff that I have to paint for uh, Joseph Abel. This is uh, from um, Dungeons and Drakenheim. That I'm, I'm going through this whole set for Dungeons and Drakenheim, but I am continuing to do that. Again, I'm real sorry that the images don't come out well. So I am having uh, bidder's remorse here. I bid for Amsterdam because I figured Amsterdam would be a fun time. You know, I have a lot of potheads on my team. And uh, they would probably appreciate going to Amsterdam, right? What I did not realize was how much the super hotel was going to be. And part of the, the draw was to get into the super hotel with the team. But the deadlines have been a little ridiculous. This guy has a freaking skewer on him. I'm assuming this is the middle wolf. Um, and if you put the, uh, the other wolves to the side... I think this unit's going to be beautiful. This is going to be a beautiful, beautiful unit. Um, yeah. I'm working on a current list with a orc chariot, just a regular orc chariot. 
Um, this guy might be a fill-in for now for that, but um, I would rather keep this for the K-Pack. Uh, mainly because, like I said in previous videos, the K-Pack has wear and tear from the years of travel and play. So I was looking for a new model. These are nice sight the wheels. Look at those. Um, looking for a new model to uh, start replacing the K-Pack with. Um, I saw this model and I thought it was beautiful. And I figured I would want it. Um, Avatars of War went into 3D printing, which I'm not a huge fan of 3D printing. Um, but I got to say, let me see if I can find them. Maybe I do have them here. My brother printed me up some trolls. My brother bought a 3D printer. This is the other dog, by the way. And uh, the trolls came out. Let me see if I find them. <clears throat> the troll came out with all these little, like, rough bits, right? And, uh, like, this guy was supposed to be having, have his body, like, ripped off or something like that. I think he was supposed to have legs or something. But, as you could see, even if I was to shave this, that came out pretty bad. Like, that came out where the point where it's like, it's, it's a lot, either a lot of sanding, you see all the lines in the troll's leg that are like where it's layered. Like the 3D printer was like, <laughs> right? So that's part of the reason why I was thrown off by 3D printing. What George has put, showed me here is how fucking smooth he could get it. That gut is smooth. That's a smooth gut. I guess I'm tickling my goblin. Right. So, um, there's a little bit of fraying and stuff on there, but nothing that I can't handle. Um, but, uh, yeah, we'll see. And this is the chassis to the um, chariot. That is all of it, guys. That is my unboxing. I am going to try to record my U.S. Masters game right now. We also had a game day on Easter Sunday. We played at the Dice Dojo. It was um, Jesse, Joel Flint. Judson Smith, Luke, myself, and Ian. Um, we all kind of came down, played a few games of, of Ninth Age, um, talking about the state of the Ninth Age, state of, uh, and this is something that needs to be brought up. Um, the state of the Ninth Age, um, the what's going to happen when Old World comes out? A lot of people, I've, I've heard kind of both sides. Uh, some people all stay with Ninth Age, and some people who are like, man, Ninth Age is a, f a falling ship, a sinking ship. Um, I don't know what's going to happen until it happens, more or less. Um, so it's interesting to think about. Um, it's interesting to discuss. And uh, I'm not trying to throw out any negativity out in the world or whatever. Uh, I want, and I think a lot of people want, the Ninth Age to succeed it's really difficult i think um the game itself uh tends to the etc crowd which i am part of the etc crowd and i do enjoy the game uh for etc purposes but i've noticed especially in the united states that the tournament scenes have gone down and down and down and down uh back when ninth age first took over i believe there was about maybe three or four tournaments in chicago alone I remember going to Ocon, um, uh, obviously Buckeyes. There was uh, more tournaments. There was tournaments in Wisconsin. There was tournaments in St. Louis. And uh, all those tournaments just separate, like dis dissipated. And more or less, I'm finding that either I would have to travel on plane and get a hotel to go to the East Coast or to the West Coast. And, um, and like, I'm going to Wicked in next month. Next month I'm going to Wicked, um, and uh, again same thing. It's it's going to be like a ten hour drive, um, catch and ride with Joel Flint, but um, it's again it's it's a hefty cost for a tournament game. Um, so you know, I think that more or less I can't I can't say an easy answer. I can't say a quick fix. I can't say anything that would. Uh, 
uh, help out, but it is something to think about for the future of the game. And I, I do enjoy, I've always enjoyed modeling and doing miniatures, and I will continue to do so. Um, if not for this game, probably another one, but uh, we'll see. Anyways, guys, hope you guys enjoy this. Like I said, unboxing, really fucking awesome miniatures. Thanks, Jorge, for these miniatures. Um, I'm looking forward to building them. And uh, until next time, peace.